Hey you! So welcome to this week's video. Um, it is a travel vlog to South Africa. Just a quick disclaimer, which is why I'm popping in real quick. This is from February of this year, long before the lockdown. I'm just bringing that up um, just because you will see a lot of no social distancing. So I just thought you guys should know. Anyways, enjoy. We are so random You bring the darkness to the light Split the atom I ignore the fact That this will never last Your words come out so soothing That I forget that this thing is confusing Having such a blast But don't ask where my head is at Cause I'm cruising through the rush of us I don't care about love Just need your touch Hey everybody, welcome to White Balance, that's super off, hold on, is it gonna adjust? Okay, where was I? Welcome to Johannesburg, we're in South Africa, obviously you saw from the airport the flag, the ladies, ow, we're in Johannesburg. Uh, we're gonna be here for a few days and then we're gonna go to Port Elizabeth. Then we're gonna go to Cape Town. Oh, I am staying at Radisson Inn and I am absolutely loving my room. Let me give you a quick little tour before we begin. So from my door, welcome darling, welcome. And I just have to say, obsessed 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 i am a very serious foodie so this is for me hey girl hey girl hey y'all know how i feel about bathtubs and shower and my bedroom so that is the two of my room so let's have a seat get a little snack and let's talk about why I'm here. Also, I wanna go through those things. Well, I've already eaten some of that, but little gift. So I wanna go through them as I tell you guys why I'm here. So I am here with Radisson. No, no Radisson. Uh, and we're here for Instameet. So there's gonna be a large number of us um, from all parts of the world. I have not met anybody yet because people are still flying in. Um, we're basically just going to be chilling in our rooms for the next few hours and we're going to have dinner. I will see you guys in a few hours, which for you is going to be like in a second because editing. Okay, so it's 6.30 now. I'm heading down to the 8th floor for the poolside. <laughs> so I forgot what we're doing. I'm literally wearing leggings just because it's the first day. I'm not exaggerating. Like, mad cash. I have at least tried with the lip gloss. <laughs> that is my attempt. So let me head down. Oh crap, my key. Okay, guys. But I'm running like I'm lost in the woods, yeah I don't really care Cause I just like it here Me and you can't get enough, no you Good morning! It is 6.30 uh, I was supposed to wake up at 5 I'm late, also got into the room like at 10 I was so tired I couldn't shoot um, So I'm gonna get ready for the day Yeah, I need to take a shower So I think that's where we're gonna start but you guys, I don't think you understand. Like, I need an apartment with big windows. Like, this is just like the best way to wake up. Like, it makes you just feel so ready for life. But I know this is a bluff, though. Having such a blast. But don't ask where my head is at. Cause I'm cruising through the rush of us. I don't care about love, just need your touch. We're 
heading out. Guys, say hi. 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 <laughs> and this is Sibu Sisu. Sibu Si? Sibu Siso. Sibu Siso. We're heading, right now we're heading to Soweto? No. Mabuneng. We're heading to our old downtown. Mabuneng. And then we're gonna head after that to Soweto. So let's go. One should have been my vice, 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 vice. I'm all about your vibe, vibe, vibe. Welcome to Mamoneng. So we're doing a quick little walkthrough through the old town. One should have been my vice, 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 vice. I'm all about your vibe, vibe, vibe. One should have been my vibe. We're gonna ride quad bikes when Soweto. I'm so sleepy, I don't know why. I'm excited. Maybe I shouldn't have worn a dress, but it's an aesthetic. Are you doing it? Yes. And I'm there to keep your dress down. <laughs> I was just on it. Like, that's basically my plan. I was gonna tuck it in until it turns into like shorts. Nailed it. Nobody hit anybody. No. Nailed it. <laughs> Nobody's crazy. car like stalled or quad bike, whatever, stalled. Yeah. Nailed it. I came back to the room, changed. We're going for dinner, but it might be cold, hence why I'm keeping this cape on. So this is basically my outfit of the night. It's this wrap dress that I got from my Instagram page. Don't remember which one, but you can put it down below. Snake print on snake print. Ow. So we started off with what? How many were we? Like 15? <laughs> and like, we just four. Just yeah, was like 15. Yeah, now yeah. there's four people who are just like, yeah. we don't believe in sleep. We don't believe in sleep, especially coming from Barcelona yeah. and Paris. Fade to black. 
Hey guys, so we're at the Apartheid Museum. <laughs> She's also at the Apartheid Museum. Um, this is actually one of the places I've actually never come to. Um, in all the trips that I've come to South Africa, I've actually never come to the Apartheid Museum. So, um, um, I'm ready to learn something new. Um, so, I am a non-white and we're going to experience the museum as what you have been selected. So, even some white people also will receive non-white, some black people will receive white cards. So, I guess I'll experience it as a black person, which is perfect because... I am black, if you did not know. Welcome back to my channel. It's apartheid hate or apartness. So the way it's written, it was more like an African split. So now today that you have that non-white or white cut, this is just to give you a feel of how it felt like during the apartheid times. Because these were the, this was the signage that you'll find in all the public spaces. You go to your public parks, you'll find chairs written Europeans only or whites only, meaning if you are none of that, you are found sitting there, you'll be arrested for trespassing. Constitutional Hill, former prison, women's prison, I believe, and now it is the Constitutional Hill. <laughs> Beautiful sign to just always remind you to be kind. I wonder if there's a story behind that. Also, I want to show you guys this. It's a statue, and we've been trying to figure out what it means for the past like 20 minutes. Because I'm not that deep, like, I'm not a deep person, I don't look at art. Or interpretive art and be and I, I like I never understand what it actually means so guys what do you believe this statue represents I thought it was a conversation about race and the atmosphere that was South Africa and apartheid and this man and the one underneath here being a black man and then I just assumed that these two are white, like a, one, a white woman and a white man. But as I examined it, he just doesn't look so white. So what do you guys think it means? For this one, who is a criminal? These are some of the ex-prisoners here. You recognize this gentleman? And yes, this is Mr. Gandhi. getting food most of the time it was rice water okay so some of them died due to starvation others died due to torture especially the political prisoners because the police will come to ask them questions if they don't want to talk they'll torture them if they die the report will say this person committed suicide that's it kept inside the cells 23 hours a day and only let out just for one hour one bucket to use as a toilet one bucket with water to wash one sleeping mat and one sleeping blanket, that's it. We're in Mabaneng for lunch. Cross my heart, I never meant to hurt you. But now you're slipping through my fingers. Possibilities lately got the best of me. Yeah. You got the best of me, embrace. 
Facing our insecurities Better to cry and set us free So I just want to give a very huge shout out to Vin. You guys will get this suit information on my Instagram, but I'm absolutely obsessed with it. I just rocked it with a white tee and I put a Converse. It's a whole aesthetic. Now let's go for dinner. It is what, like 6 a.m. right now? We are heading out to our next location, Port Elizabeth. It's kind of dark in here, but outfit of the day is just a jumpsuit from Mango. It's beige, it's comfortable, and I have hair because I'm grown and I bought it. If I wanna rock it, I'm gonna rock it like I own it. Ow. Okay, let's go. So now that we're back, hold on, my wig. Y'all, this is a struggle and a half. Y'all, this is a struggle and a half. Oh, there we go, oh, oh, oh. Welcome to Port Elizabeth. We are heading for safari. Yeah! It's a safari. We're gonna go see elephants. I'm still trying to figure out if it's an actual safari or if it's a reserve or an orphanage. I don't be knowing. We're about to figure that out. So let's go, cause I'm supposed to be downstairs in the next five minutes. So let me first brush this thing that people like to call Nueres, and then we head down. Oh, but first, let me give you guys a tour of my crib, my digs, my nyumba, my house, my home for the next couple of days. The living space. The best freaking view ever. The bedroom. <gasps> this bathtub is so my aesthetic. <sighs> Y'all know how I feel about bathtubs. We're heading out to see elephants. And this is mom. Hey, baby. I don't know why. Oh my god, that is overblown. Wait, and we're back. Yeah. Here we are. No, but it's fine. Are you ready? It happens fine. This is mommy. Look at her perch, so lovely here. I'm perched. I'm so perched. I'm not lying. Oh, yeah. So this is Olivier. Yes. He is a photographer. I am from Paris. And he's from Paris. He is so from I am Paris. French, living in Union Island, now in Paris, and I have Chinese origin. He's 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 just a lot he's in one human Cosmo being. <laughs> Mr. Cosmo. And this is Natalie. And I'm half French and half Iranian, living in Paris. And, and, and she makes amazing dresses. 
I'm sorry, just say that so nonchalant. <laughs> she made a dress for Charlie's parents. Yeah, for the Oscars. Her last job was with what? Yeah. With Zio. My last job, I was in a mining company. <laughs> <laughs> and I made manganese, <laughs> not for Charlene Theron, but for Mombasa. <laughs> that was my last job. And this is Olga, she's our Russian spy. <laughs> She has a very long list of things that she's mixed with and lives in. So. That's a good way to describe me. <laughs> just, she is like a little cocktail of just, you don't know if what she's telling you is true or not. You're just like, all right, cool. That sounds right. But the elephants here nothing like the ones from Masai Mara. Uh -oh. Like, do you see how comfortable they are? You remember how I was talking about the lions on my 2020 vision of unbothered? The South African elephants, like unbothered, unbothered. So we're here for lunch. She's so paranoid about me getting hit by cars. God, mom. <laughs> Can't touch us. <laughs> making so leather bracelets um, and we're gonna put our names on them so from the, the rougher side you right? i like the smell of new leather mm, me too i will be saying so just smelling it like it's a perfume oh, like, <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> i give up you want me to do it? Yeah, do it. Do it on that same spot. <laughs> this one? Yeah. Timor. This one. Yes. Look at him, not caring about his fingers. Okay, we've come back to the room. We're going quickly. Not quickly. We're leaving in the next three minutes uh, for a catamaran boat ride. And I am wearing a chiffon thing by Drake Kendi should have launched by the time you guys see this video finally so and i'm keeping this it's an aesthetic it's a vibe and i've brushed my hair i was starting to look a little anyway so let's head out ow it was weird we're gonna miss in sunset yeah. oh that golden hour though look at that Ooh. 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 oh It's like 8 o'clock at night right now all I want to do is take a shower 
and then I'm taking a bath. I'm so excited about this. I have been thinking about this all day, okay, not all day. I've been thinking about it for like the past hour. I just wanna take a bath. By the way, are you guys more of a shower then bath kind of person or bath then shower kind of person or bath the bath to you and you're done? I'm more of a I have to shower before I take a bath and I mean like a full shower like I'm not rinsing like a full-on shower and then I hit the bath because I cannot enter a bathtub with my filth like like the day on me no mm -mm. you gotta like wash all that off before you like chill in the bathtub am I the only one who does that genuinely curious okay that feels better good morning i am so energized like chilling yesterday and like just chilling in my room and looking at the view and just taking a bath that was the most genius thing i've ever done like i have energy for days do you know days like weeks i have so much energy so i woke up this morning i did a bunch of photos um i took a picture of this outfit so this outfit it's a two-piece so it's a shirt and pants tell me that's not cute especially with the hair it's like all types of like i'm a boss i'm a boss i'm a boss yes okay i am dressed decided to go with a shirt dress instead so i'm just wearing this shirt dress it's from instagram as well just uncomfortable Segways, that's what it's called. Segways. I have not Vespa, my fault. I hate this so much! Okay. <laughs> this is so uncomfortable! <laughs> right, you are done? She was actually doing it with no Oh, hands. look, look, look. Okay, Port Elizabeth done. Now we're heading yeah, to Cape Town. To Cape Town. Yeah, <laughs> what did you just say? Yeah, my man. What? Yeah, yeah I my man. Can't live without you. give you guys a proper tour of my room through the front door is the bathroom <laughs> oh, it's a bathtub you don't have to use it and look at that view from the bathtub like you take a morning bath as you're just looking into the city beautiful beautiful and then the bedroom some cheese and some grapes. I'm definitely gonna be snacking on this. Also, fun fact, I'm lactose intolerant. Ask me if I care. Okay, at least on vacations, I don't care. I'm also allergic to shellfish. I have had prawns, I've had lobster, I've literally had everything that comes in a shell. Again, ask me if I care. 
Okay, I had to change because we're going, I think, on bikes later. And I think I'm actually legit, like, sure this time. Like, Harley Davidson's Davidson. I don't know. Those bikes that go, vroom, 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 vroom. I don't know what they actually called. I might be mispronouncing it. I also used to think it was dandy long leg, not daddy long leg. So, <sighs> English is not the best language for me. You know. Does she have a name? Uh, no, she doesn't have a name. Ah. She's called the convertible. The convertible? Yeah. To Table Mountain. My hair has lost its baboon because of helmet. <sighs> to Table Mountain area February. For your own safety, please step away from the side. change and get into something way more comfortable uh, just heading downstairs for dinner and then it's gonna be a wrap for the night so let's go but everything feels wrong the sky is gray times are changing this is the end of everything but it's hard Day two, Cape Town. We are heading to Bokap, uh, which is Bukap, Bokap, Bukap, which is the really pretty spot in Cape Town where all the really bright buildings are. Everybody knows, like, it's really famous. That's where Instagrammers go to take their photos. Uh, we're gonna go hang out with some penguins and I think we're also doing wine tasting today. So, outfit of the day leather overalls. Cute with a white tee. It's like a mustard yellow. And y'all know I love Squella bags. So welcome to Bokap. Uh, it's an Afrikaans word for top of the cape. It's, um, I'm trying to remember the history from last time I was here. It's predominantly an Islamic Muslim neighborhood. Um, what's the history with the colors? Okay, so the history with the colors of all the houses. Um, this place was originally the area where the slaves were allowed to live in Cape Town. Um, the slaves were brought in from Malaysia um, and I forget what other country. And at the time when they lived here, the rule was they had to live 
in houses that were painted white like they just had to so once they were finally freed that was their like middle finger and they were like ooh we're gonna live in a rainbow you know rainbow so that's the history so now we're gonna take some photos because Instagram must be like that <laughs> So photos have been done, we're now gonna get a few snacks. Kashistas, Kashista, Kashistas. Let me find out how you pronounce. So we have some samosas. This is a corn and cheese. And then this is beef. Milk tart. It's sweet and I think fresh now because And then Kashista. It sounds like a kaimati. I think it's kaimati. Say it again? Kusista. Kusista. There we go. I, I bet you it's a Kamati. Like just switches on the Cape Town accent there. And then the Kenyan Kusista. kicks in hard. <laughs> <laughs> that I had to do to get a freaking photo <laughs> with penguins that refuse to look at the camera once. Hi. These ones? Hello. These penguins? I gave up. Okay, I didn't give up. I got it, but still. Like, we literally did rock climbing and now we have to rock climb back <laughs> and go underneath the tunnel while the tide is getting high. Like, look at this. <laughs> like this is what you gotta do for like an Instagram pic. <laughs> I don't think you'll be able to follow me. I'm coming! I'm coming! What? What am I looking at? <gasps> It's just going down to the beach. <laughs> like the beach. And you know the cartoon. No, they are. I can see you. <laughs> Back in the room, freshened up. We are heading out for dinner. I was supposed to get all dressed up, but then I got lazy halfway through. So it was just like a red dress, a pair of Converse, and this in case I get cold. I can't. I'm tired. I'm tired. The penguins are exhausting. Yo. Yo! He finally arrived. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, we are moving hotels. We're now heading to Waterfront, uh, still in Cape Town. We're done flying 
out but um we're heading to waterfront i, I feel so discombobulated because we've just gone to so many places so many hotels in such a short period of time i'm like wow where am i i don't know do i know you i don't know hey. okay uh so let's head down and outfit of the day off shoulder top pair of skinnies and converse chill vibes oh and manueres hey men okay let's go we're at the waterfront oh did you stick my camera oh oh you're getting me okay i get it okay. oh, wow. i wonder why it's called waterfront <laughs> in front of the water Whoa. I want to be daring, baby, dance the night away I let my head down if I want Don't you just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time Doesn't sound like fun You can do better Let me show you what a good time looks like You can do better So much better We found shelter. Anyone want to go flat? Hey, look at my hair. Like, what happened? Um, look at your hair. Oh, don't just do like that. Oh my god. Crash on the floor. It's gonna be so hard to detangle. Hold on. There we go. Did you see the whale? What? There was a whale? There was a whale? How was that wind, guys? Very interesting. It was very nice. It was fun, wasn't it? Very fun. It was fabulous. And he's like, no. Like, it hurt. The sand was blowing at us. I don't know how many miles an hour. It was painful. It was raining sideways. And we're having everywhere. Yeah. Oh, oh. So that's what she said. <laughs> I don't want to know. I don't want to know. Hey. Hey. Good morning. It is the last day. Uh, no, it's the second last day. Uh, we're still at the waterfront. I need to pack up so we can go to Radisson Red. I need to take a shower, get ready, and all that jazz. You ready? Yeah. I'm so ready. I was born ready. <laughs> What? So ready. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Being pretty, honey. Let's just face it. You can do better. Let me show you what a good time looks like. You can do better. So much better. Um. 
of them you don't know so I took these anti-motion sickness pills before doing the helicopter because I know it was really windy and it was gonna be a bumpy ride sometimes so I just wanted to just avoid maybe possibly getting any motion sickness but that stuff has knocked me out so we even moved hotels we're now at the Radisson Red my room I physically could not even give you guys a tour. I was like, I was just like, I need to go upstairs and sleep. It was supposed to be a 30 minute nap. It is now two hours in and I am still so sleep. Like these things have the most intense level of drowsiness. I have ever felt in my entire life from any sort of a medication. Oh my God. Yeah, so I think I'm gonna have to start getting ready to go downstairs. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm so tired. <laughs> okay. I'll see you guys in a few. Okay, I'm finally up. We are heading to the rooftop for a few drinks. And then dinner. I'm awake. I feel so good and awake. Oh. Is this what you want now? Feels like you're looking for something better for breakfast and then saying goodbye to everybody and then I'm heading out in two hours to the airport <sighs> okay let's do this this is what I want now no I won't settle for anything else. Uh -huh. and that is it I'm so glad I found all those videos I would like I lost half of them it's such a long story as to why this is such a late vlog <sighs> just the struggles were real it was so much fun going through some of that stuff I completely forgot how much fun that entire trip was it was dopeness anyways thank you guys so much for watching really appreciate you guys and I will see you guys in the next video bye and a huge thank you to Radisson for having us and being so amazing.